Hello friends, today I am going to explain you about how to integrate Facebook SDK in Android application. So uh, today I am going to cover uh, some modules such as uh, create a basic Android application, integrate a Facebook SDK with that application, then how to add a new application in developer.facebook.com site, then finally we are going to deploy an application uh, on mobile. So let's get started with creating a new project in Android Studio. Over here you need to select application uh, minimum SDK. Over here I am going to create a, a empty activity and click on next. As you can see I have created a basic application. Now to integrate a Facebook SDK you have to go to facebook developer.facebook.com Here login with your Facebook account and go to my apps add new app my login test then choose category as education and click on create app id and click on submit new dashboard for my login test application will get open so this is really important stuff app id which you need to copy and paste it inside your project so let's go back to project in app section in resource folder go to values then add strings as here you need to add that key once done again go back to dashboard click on settings so in settings you need to uh, add click on add platform then Android you need to give your package name go to project then Android manifest this is your package name copy this paste it over here and the class name will be dot main activity now to create a key hash go to android studio click on gradle refresh this gradle now you can see fb login test and app gradle so inside app inside task folder inside android folder you will find sign in report click on it as you can see in run section you have got this SHA one so copy this and go back to developer.facebook.com paste it over here and uh, save changes click on use this package name you are done with settings now go back to docs android sdk and uh, click on login over here you will find all the necessary steps you need to follow to uh, get the login thing done with Facebook. 
so go to uh, getting started here first I'll copy this repositories then I will go to pill.gradle file I'll minimize this then about dependencies I'll copy and paste this repositories and uh, next I will use this dependency and you have to mention an exact version that version you will find from um, Android SDK then change log this is what the current version is Facebook has uh, launched on Jan 15 25 uh, 2017 so copy this paste it over here click on sync so now once sync done successfully go back to layout folder inside activity main just add your Facebook button don't worry you will find how to add Facebook button from here again go back to Android SDK then login and then over here you will find this Facebook login button copy this and paste it inside project I don't want this button to be here I want uh, this should be in central line true and uh, and this should be a center true this will give me the status of login so I'll give ID as text status now go back to a code behind file in main activity you need to add uh, initialize those controls so I'm going to initialize controls in Android activity this is my text text view and then the text so this is what my text view and then my login button You also need to register callback manager initialize this callback manager callback manager dot factory dot create call this function inside on create and this is really important step to initialize Facebook SDK you need to write it above set content view which is over here you need to write Facebook SDK dot initialize SDK initialize and then over here pass your application context now if I will click on login button so whatever callbacks I am getting so I am going to handle it inside this so login manager dot get instance dot register callback inside this I need to pass callback manager and login result so you can also check this over here like what they are doing 
okay so in our case we need to pass this callback manager inside this and uh, in new facebook callback we will get three methods on success on cancel and on error so if my login is login with facebook sdk is done successfully so it will enter inside this function if i'll uh, if i'll click on login button and if i'll click on uh, back button so which means cancel the existing transaction so it will go inside on cancel method and if anything any any error uh, runtime error will occur then it will go inside this on error function so i have so i am i'm going to dump this function inside um, another function so as to be uh, a proper generated code i want to create so private void login with fb call over here to fetch the callback events with the help of this on activity result set so just copy and paste it over here i'm going to import this class yes i'm done i want to print my status inside this text view so i'm going to set text as login status login success uh, as a success and uh, i'm going to print login result dot get access token over here and then cancel the transaction then it should print some message so i will print message as text as login cancelled right now i'm not going to add any anything into this but if i want so what I'll do, I'll print this message as text as status dot set text uh, dot login error as error dot get message. So uh, before execution. I need to check whether in you know, manifest I have entered uh, internet permission or not so I have not mentioned so I'm going to mention it over here user permission as uh, internet okay metadata as this just copy from here and paste it inside application tag so this will target to string over here the final thing you need to do is go to developer console again go to your application inside this you need to go to app review and you have to select this as yes make login test as public so confirm it once done you can see email public profile user friends you can access these items so again go back to android studio and let's run this application so this is uh, my fb login test i am going to click on this 
uh, you will find this button continue with Facebook just click on it I'm not going to continue as an equal load key I'll just click on back key you can see a login cancel message over here again click on continue with Facebook and uh, continue as Nikhil click on it you can see a login success and the token and uh, lockout button thanks for watching this video hope you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you so much